With another new start to the NFL season comes the release of a new Madden game. But with this Madden, I decided that I wanted to run an experiment. What would happen if every team in the NFC East released their head coach and hired a new one? Would they all just crumble and fall back down to being the worst division in the league in the NFL? Or would they rise to greatness and finally achieve what they've all been looking for? To have a winning record. Well, I think we should find out together. Let's get started. Now on this journey, you are going to be following, well, mainly following I should say, the Washington football team on their quest for greatness ever after struggling through, you know, a bunch of bad quarterbacks, bad defense. They have crafted one of the best defenses in the NFL, and they have, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick as their quarterback. Not much has changed at the quarterback position, but at least he got old reliable, and when I say old, I mean old reliable. Okay, so first thing I need to do is choose my team, and we you know, I've already chosen my team. The Washington football team, we're rebuilding them, and, you know, let's use a custom coach, um, uh, team builder, of course, because we want to build our team, not our team, am I right, am I right, am I right? And, uh, you know, I'm a very, very muscular person, I'm a very muscular person, we'll see here. I'm a, I'm a lighter skinned dude. Uh, oh yeah, this dude looks so cool, this dude looks freaking awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change my last name to my dog. It was right before it was my dad's name because, you know, my last name for some reason is profane. <laughs> uh, you don't even want to know my last name. But yeah, this thing looks really cool. I mean, we're, we're going to look really cool when we... Huh? What? Who? Who is this man? Who is this man and what have you done with my cool Chad? Where, where did he go? What have you done with him? Alright, alright, hey, hey guys, I'm the first team in this custom coach franchise. I'm the Washington football team. Alright, the next, the next custom coach in this franchise is Owen's brother, Noah, who is going to be controlling the Giants. How you doing, Noah? I'm doing fine. Are you doing good? I, I just, uh, was doing fine. Yeah, you're doing good, alright, cool. Yeah, he's the only per other person that I could find here that was stupid enough to buy Madden. So, anyway, next up on the roster, we got Brody. <laughs> hey, there's Brody over here. He's going to be controlling the... Yeah! <laughs> he's going to be controlling the Cowboys. Because... We're done, baby! <laughs> yeah, he's controlling the Cowboys. Because he likes unreliable offenses and terrible defenses. <clears throat> hey, I would watch your mouth when you're talking when you're about to lose. All right, Brody, sure, sure. Mm -hmm. and, okay, football team. All right. And Don't even have a real name. <laughs> Don't even have a real name. <laughs> hey, calm down, calm down. Hey, calm down, Brady. Calm down now. All right, and last up on the roster. <laughs> Shut up, Noah. And last up on the roster, we got... The one, the only, the star of the show, Owen. Who's going to be controlling hey. the Eagles? Yep, Philly, Delphia, Eagles. How about them birds? That's all I can say. How, How about, about them, them birds? birds? How about them birds, baby? Going to, I guess, fly wild. And, well, I mean, what can you even do against the Nichols? Like they said, you are a football team. I am a bird. I'm you are very unoriginal. Team. You are very unoriginal, Nicholas. Very. Why would you ever become that team, sir? Also, I'd just like to say, I don't think the star defines my role good enough. I think I'm the superstar. Uh, at the very you're, you're least. You're the superstar X Factor. I'm, I'm the main event. I'm, I'm the main event. I, like, people watch the Incraft channel for me. I mean, it's kind of obvious by now. I mean, yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious. We're going to, just so I know, everybody, we're renaming the channel to the. Owen channel starring Nicholas. <laughs> starring Owen. <laughs> and all videos will be edited, filmed, and released by Nicholas, but it will still be under my name. 
And anyway, enough with this tomfoolery. What are we doing today, Nicholas? All right, today we're gonna get through the preseason and maybe get to week one. Yes. Uh, get some Brody energy in there. Yes. Yeah, Brody. Okay, so ah. yeah, we're gonna go through the preseason. We're gonna make trades. We're gonna make um, trades. signings. Signings. And we're gonna do all that sort of stuff. Right now, so all the jazz. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Okay, first order of business. Of course, check out free agency. We're just going to do this quick and concise. Don't be lollygagging around and making this take forever. Yeah, Brody. No. Uh, <laughs> we all just, okay. We all had different ideas <laughs> of who's going to be. Different. We all had different ideas of who's going to be the connoisseur of lollygagging. But still, make your plays. Yeah, I think and then just letting you know, everything is in this franchise is on, salary caps on, injuries on, anything could happen in this franchise. Anything could happen. All of our no. starting quarterbacks could get injured and then Noah could Noah could turn gay. You never know. You never know. Maybe he is. Uh man, that'd be anything Noah, could that'd happen be with the Cowboys losing. Yeah, oh, no. shut up. Oh, I think that's the opposite. Man. Anything can happen except the Cowboys actually doing any good. Exactly. exactly. Oh, and I've watched your mouth. You're about to get destroyed. You say that, but we're not facing each other until like week Well, week 10. exactly. You're scared. That's why I'm Dang going it. to that long. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my bad, scared. guys. I should have redid the schedule. <laughs> you should have redid the schedule. No, I should have yeah, yeah, talked yeah. with, uh, uh, with the, uh, the whatever, Roger, Roger Goodell. That's, that's his, his name. name. Hey, oh, well. same page. Hey, whoa. Same page. Whoa. Same page. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking... I need, I need to make an O-line signing, because right now my <laughs> O-line's not looking very good. And by that, I mean, like, one person on the O-line. It's pretty... Oh, I'm... Okay. Kind of this guy... Ain't nobody know who he is? Probably. But he's a stud. Dante Pettis. Signing that wide receiver. He has curly, pinkish, green hair. He's a stud. He's gonna do wonder. He's gonna work wonders for my team. He's a big tall guy, kind of tall guy. I'm gonna sign Forrest Lamp because he's a youngin. Well, well, kind of, well, not really a youngin, but you could get Kalichi Super Smelly. I believe you say his last name is. Oh, so smelly. Nah, he's too old. He's a little too old. Okay. He'll be also, dust in a couple of years, right. you know. Just... Reuben Foster. I think that's who Ellen was gonna sign. Oh no! I wasn't gonna sign him. I signed somebody else. Oh, okay. You should get. Uh, you should trade uh, for for Joe Flacco. You want Joe Flacco? I'm not gonna sign Joe Flacco away from you. I know trade. how much you love him. I know how. I'm not a Ravens fan like you. I signed Cam uh, Newton and put him at running back. <laughs> oh my gosh! That's. <laughs> I mean, he fumbled for you every play, but I mean, yeah, you do you. Uh, I guess. I guess I will. Oh, him? yeah. Kaepernick's deleted. We deleted him. No. Yeah. yeah he Mainly, did. it's not because of what he's done, which that may play a part, but no, it's because he sucks. He's been out of the league for like five years, and they had the game has him at 81. If you want to sign old Kaepernick, he's a 47. Well, I got <laughs> I'll be right back. I guess I'm stupid because I thought we're gonna play our preseason games. No, we're not. No, we're just gonna send through those. We're we're just waiting for Nicholas to hurry and stuff up. I'm just checking out my team. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Alright, I'm ready. Everyone else ready? Is everyone ready? Noah. I don't know if Noah's here, but he should be ready. I'll advance anyway. Okay, finally, we're getting on to the second week. Let's see. How many injuries are you thinking? I'm thinking 20 ACL for half my team. One new injury, oh god. Yeah, let's go. Please don't injuries. tell me. Dislocated ankle. Three oh, weeks from my no. starting defensive end. Oh. That will, I mean, I should have him by week one or two of this regular season. I'm not too sure how that works. I'm kind of down. I don't know how to count exactly, but yeah, I should have him. So it's not, I mean, it could definitely have been worse. I was expecting, like, Jalen Hurts and, like, Dallas got her. All my big players to be injured, but that's not bad. No, you ready to advance again? You ready now? I said yeah. Oh, I didn't hear you. I think you're yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Uh, okay. You see the rest of these weeks, other than week four, won't take a longer preseason. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna get like an injury on there. Okay. Does anybody have an injury yet, other than me? Nope. Um. Oh, I guess someone returning from injury. 
Even though they didn't say he was injured. No, that's probably just a practice injury then. Uh, because, yeah, yeah people oh, can get injured in practice now. I'm glad he's back at least. I don't have any Need to upgrade way. some players. Adam Humphreys. Man, I might have some quarterback controversy. Gardner Minshew, the Minshew mania, and Jalen Hurts. Who knows? Probably will be Jalen Hurts, but still, who knows? Whenever you guys are ready and we'll get uh, advancing again. I mean, if anything, I'm going to have a quarterback controversy over here. I got Mr. Olhead himself, Brian Fitzpatrick. Okay, Joe Flacco. And then I got two bad bad backups. Okay, wait, Nicholas. Realistically, I, I'm not saying I would offer you this trade, but what would you uh, trade for Gardner Minshew? 69 overall, 25-year-old quarterback. Um, I don't know. Probably like a fifth round pick. Nah, I'm not doing that. Okay, you guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Birdie? I don't care, Birdie. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if my QB gets injured, I'm going to kill you. How would he I get injured? Cut five players. players. I got to cut six. I got to cut 17. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> what? Down. Okay, oh, I'm yeah. 35 overall tight ends. Gary Terry McLaurin, <laughs> he's got an upgrade. Oh yeah, dude, he's in. Mike Lennon upgrade. got an upgrade. There's gonna be a lot of quarterback controversy. A lot, a lot. I would keep Tim Tebow on my team just for the jokes of it, because most likely my tight, one of my tight ends will get injured, and I'll put him in there at like third string. I just need to cut five players. I don't want to cut my long snapper though. Do it. I don't want to. Oh, fine. Screw, screw this. I'm cutting Taylor Heineke. I never liked him. No, not Taylor Heineke. Free my man from this oppression. And I'm getting a million. I'm getting a million to cut him. I'm getting a million. And the silly Millie. Um. Uh, oh gosh. Well, let's advance. Let's advance. I can trade later. I can trade later. You can always trade. You can trade until week eight. Week eight or nine, one of those. All right, here we go. Man. Hey, well, I got a press a press conference. And so the NFL preseason has concluded, but the regular season is just beginning, and there are so many questions left up in the air. Like, will the Washington Football Team beat their first opponent, the LA Chargers? Will the Dallas Cowboys beat whoever they're facing? Would the Giants actually be relevant? And would the Eagles stop getting injured quarterbacks? All these questions to be answered next time. In the next episode. Yes.